That looks fun. I want to do that. Luigi has always been an interesting character to me. I mean, his name is literally derived from the Japanese word that translates to, you guessed it, Bad Luigi. Oh my god, it's like backwards. That's so freaking edgy. He's always been a joke character to Nintendo, like Wario, but unlike Wario, he's never had his own game to show what kind of character he actually is. Well, at least not officially. Yeah! yeah. Now, Waluigi has been around since the original Mario Tennis back in the year 2000. He's never had his own games officially, but that doesn't stop him from being in a lot of games where the Mario cast goes head-to-head -head in some sport. How about this? Okay, well, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, yes, I, I was gonna say, how did what, how did he... No, stop! Yeah! Stop doing yeah, this thing! Yeah, stop plan. doing that! What was that? Or when they throw a party. <laughs> But with the power of fan games, we can get games like... Waluigi World. Or is it Wilk? I don't think I've ever identified more with a sunflower than I do now. Okay, so it's been like two seconds and I already don't know what's going on. Maybe the plot will key us into some of the elusive details. Did you catch that? Did you catch the store? Well, okay, to start off, you move incredibly fast. Whenever you jump, you also lose all the momentum you've built up. Sometimes you'll jump and it just doesn't take you anywhere or it won't make you go high enough. It's really quite inconsistent. Okay, got some coins, time to climb the rope. Jesus, slow down while- I meant to do that. I like how every time you die, Waluigi just flies off into the multiverse. <laughs> Take a moment to just look at Waluigi. I mean, his teeth are coming out of his nose. Wait, wait, which doctor do I call to fix that? Is it, is it the dentist or the plastic surgeon? <laughs> what? What is happening? What is happening? Now I'm playing a puzzle level where I am in Mario Sunshine, apparently. I guess, like, the, the princess needs me to find the keys to the door or something? I don't know. She doesn't exactly look alive. Okay, found the flood, found the keys. Just have to get this last key and then I'm... Wait, what? What? No! No! The game is crashing! Oh, oh! Wait, wait. Oh, oh! We're, we're, are we back? Well, this sucks. I did actually get the game to work, s sort of. But it required my friend Jordan to take control of the mouse and never stop waggling it. And then we broke the game some more. But you know about that already. When it comes to the dark world of Waluigi fan games, we must consider sometimes what is right in front of us. I mean, it seems kind of like uh, tennis would be a good option considering that he tennises sometimes. Waluigi. I take it back! I take it back! I want my game! This is Waluigi Blockade. As far as I can tell, the object of the game is to bounce the fireballs back at the blocks, breaking them. You can only ever do two different types of shots, a straightforward hit, or you can majestically lunge Waluigi across the map with a jump hit. I believe I can... I believe I can... Alright, so you know how we have Super Mario Brothers? You know, the brothers? Yeah, 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 we, we love Super Mario Brothers. Well, what if I told you we could have Super Wario Brothers? And we make it an RPG. Oh my god, this is so oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. For several years now, Bowser has been defeated by a certain red plumber. Yeah! I'm feeling it! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, okay, 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 I get it, I get it. It's about Wario, technically. But you get Waluigi right away. So that counts. Oh, what? Mr. Krabs is the store clerk? Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. This is my kind of game, Mr. Krabs, how you doing? <laughs> Okay, I'll leave then. If you can't tell, this game is not very serious. I ran around for a little bit collecting things and fighting Goombas. I even ran into a dragon. Actually, I'm guarding the entryway to the airport. 
can't have anyone use a plane without a passport. We don't want another 9-11 to happen? I did eventually fight a certain boss. Uh, he gave off really weird vibes. Let's play something else. There's a ROM hack for the original pinball for the NES! It's great! My favorite part is the, the dancing Waluigi's and the Wah. Most notably, I think, is this game called Waluigi's Adventure. This game is incredibly difficult. I don't know what it is with most ROM hacks, but they are made to be the most infuriating games ever created. This is just the first level and I'm just trying to set up for a jump! Okay, easy, easy, get your space. I will find you. I'll murder your family. Who is this guy? What is... What is he doing there? If this is just the first level, I don't even want to know what's coming up. I, I, ca I can't even imagine how hard it's gonna get. Okay, easy, took out the Hammer Brothers, last jump. Aside from all the really weird stuff you'll find out there, there are some real attempts at making a good game. Take Waluigi Land. Honestly, a pretty solid attempt, even though it hasn't aged that well. You control Waluigi in his own platforming game in the same vein as Super Mario Bros. It does suffer from the ROM hack syndrome of becoming way too hard, way too fast. One of the only cool things about it is that it has its own unique power-ups that Waluigi can use. But its movement mechanics and its difficulty hold it back from a recommendation. I mean, I would know. I had the absolute pleasure of playing this game on stream, and it broke me. Why doesn't it let me go through? Oh my god, if you hit a wall, you just go straight down. Oh man, I'm gonna lose all of my lives here. You're lousy. I hate this game. I freaking hate this game. I freaking hate this game. One of the only games that I found with any semblance of hard work was Super Mario Brothers and the Midas Machine. Even as a demo product with no known release date, likely cancelled, you can see the absolute crazy promise that this game has. You start as Mario and Luigi fighting through the first world, but shortly after beating the first chapter of the story, you can then become Wario and Waluigi. Each character eventually becomes a playable character that you can pick at the beginning of the levels, almost like a new Mario 2. Each character also has their own special abilities that they can perform. Mario can wall jump, Luigi can high jump, Wario can shoulder dash, and Waluigi can... Well... He can be skinny. Each level has hidden golden mushrooms to find, going along with the theme of the game. Usually they're hidden away pretty well, making you have to replay the levels as certain characters to use their specific skills. But that's never really a hassle because the levels are usually pretty quick. Unfortunately, this game seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth, and sadly a new version of the game hasn't been seen in a couple years. But maybe one day, one day, it'll go down as one of the best fan games ever made. Or not, who knows? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. While there are a lot of quite frankly mediocre or terrible Waluigi games out there, you can't really rag on them too much. A lot of the time it was probably just kids learning how to make games, limited by the technology of the past or by their own creativity. Even though most of these games are pretty standard or... bad, I would like to talk about one exceptionally good Waluigi game. And that game is, of course, Psycho Waluigi. <laughs> This, this game right here, is good! It's so good, in fact, that any sane person would consider this game canon. It's like a monument to fan games. It's ridiculous. This game has so much polish, so much creativity, it's a wonder why Nintendo didn't buy this game from the creator and sell it to everyone. The game starts out with Waluigi flying around in his hot air balloon, picking fights with birds. You know, for fun! When they attack him, he falls all the way down and hits his head real bad-like. 
Before you know it, you wake up in the land of Unconscia, and this weird phantom eye creature called Psycho Iris finds and starts talking to you. He tells you that you're in fact a psychic, fills you in on the world of Unconscia, and then asks you if you wanna... TAKE OVER THE WORLD! Oh yeah. So that means going around the world taking over the land as a psychic Waluigi with telekinetic powers, trying to gather as many riches as possible. Sign. Me. Up. The gameplay is actually really close to a regular Mario game. There's a bit more emphasis on exploration, adventure, and puzzle solving, but still manages to carry that sweet, sweet Mario vibe. The main difference this time around is that you're a psychic, so that means being able to use the action button to pick up enemies and throw them around. Certain enemies also have special attacks, and if you pick them up, you can use those moves against your enemies. And the cherry on top of the proverbial cake... <laughs> Instead of the flagpole at the end of the level, you have to storm the palace where the king or queen sits and overthrow them. It's weirdly satisfying. I don't think I can honestly stress enough how good this game actually is. Sure, it has a few problems, like all games. The difficulty can spike sometimes. It's hard to use Psycho Iris fast and effectively. And it's really easy to take multiple hits back to back and die. But even after all that stuff, what we have here is an honest to God Waluigi game. A game that I recommend you play, by the way, as it's a free download. And believe me, you won't regret it. Wow, who wasn't that a good time? I can't believe there was actually some good Waluigi games out there. You did me proud, Internet. You did me pr What the frick is that? Check out this game, lol. Now check out this other link. Oh! Hey guys, what's going on? You guys enjoying the art? That's cool. Good, I'm glad. You can't answer this. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, you could always click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you just can't wait for more videos, I got two more videos for you to watch right there. Top 10 arcades and video games and Super Mario bootlegs. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Goes with the theme of this episode. How about that? We'll do that one. This was a super fun video, actually. Waluigi, who'd have thought he would add so many games? I, I, I wouldn't have guessed it. I, w I wouldn't. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go now.